In this video, we're going to talk about one of the experimentation drills I do in the beginning of the first day of my pistol skill development class. This drill is called predictive transitions. The purpose of this drill is for people to learn to use their eyes to drive the transitions and to allow the shooting to happen subconsciously once their sights are aligned with the point their eyes are looking at. For many people, this drill is a wonderful way to get them to experience what it feels like to shoot subconsciously for the first time, where the process of shooting simply happens and the conscious mind observes it. The drill is very simple. On a regular USPSA target, we take two of the white stickers that I use so often and put them in the shoulders of the target. The idea is that you start out shooting slowly, one on the left, as the dot or the sight rises, you immediately move your eyes to the right. Once the sights are in alignment, you break that shot, then immediately move your eyes again to the left. As you go, you pick up speed until you start to make mistakes. Once you start to make mistakes, you stay at that speed until you kind of figure it out, play with it, experiment with it. And then once you've got that figured out, you can pick up the speed again. Most people would be surprised at how quickly they can transition doing this drill. A couple of fine points on this drill. The shooting should be predictive, not reactive. What I mean by that is that as your dot or your front sight is moving into the circle, you are prepping and pressing the trigger so that the shot breaks right as the sight finishes moving into the circle. Then immediately move your eyes out. If the shooting were reactive, I would wait for the dot to settle, then break the shot. Instead, I want to time this so that the shots are happening as the sights reach the proper point. That way there's no dead time. I'm not waiting on anything. The shooting is simply happening. If you're shooting this drill in your own practice, you don't have to use my target setup. You can use two USPSA targets. You can use two pieces of static steel, two B8s, basically anything that forces you to have a precise aiming point as you go back and forth between targets. Try the drill out. I hope you like it, and I hope to see you all on the range soon.